Welcome to Best of Delaware 2020. We're taking the show on the road to introduce Best of Delaware Week, July 23rd through August 1st. Join us as we visit winners throughout the state and learn what makes them the best. For a complete list of all the fun, visit bestofde.com. Best of Delaware Week, supporting small business across the first state, is underwritten by these fine sponsors. Now, let's begin the celebration. Hey everybody, it's Meg Ryan, Associate Editor at Delaware Today Magazine. We're here today at Stone Balloon Ale House in Newark to talk to them about their Best of Delaware win, what to order, and the secret behind the name. Let's head inside. What are people coming to the Stone Balloon for right now? Cheap date night on Wednesday night, seafood on Fridays. We also have brunch on Saturdays and Sundays. I think it's just a great time. It's a great atmosphere. It's fun. Um, we have a beautiful beer list and uh, service, genuine hospitality. I don't know if you guys know, but our chef was on national television with the Scampi the Beat Bobby Clay. So that's always on the menu. You've got to come in and check it out. Anything special you salvage from the old stone balloon? Uh, there is. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. My name is Bill Stevenson. I'm the original founder of the Stone Balloon. Where did the Stone Balloon get its name? I was in the Virgin Islands in 1968. We decided we were going to stay there and I was not going to come to the University of Delaware to play football. I went down to a little bar on the corner. I said, I need a job. They said, come back Thursday. I went back Thursday with black pants and a white shirt. And guess what? They were knocking the building down. It was their closing party the night they hired me. The Stone Balloon ended up in Newark, Delaware. What magic continues at the new Stone Balloon? One thing the Stone Balloon was not known for was food. We had hot dogs. What's amazing with Robbie Jester and his team in the High Five Hospitality Group, amazing food. But when you look around the place, while you're waiting for your food, you see the history of the Stone Balloon. You see the pictures of the bands, you see memorabilia, and you get great food and amazing history all in one night here. You have to come check it out. What's the biggest surprise you got when reopening the Stone Balloon? For me, the biggest surprise that we got reopening the Stone Balloon on Main Street was all of the stories that we heard, the good, the bad, the ugly, the funny, the not so funny, but hearing all those stories and the pieces of history from somebody that didn't grow up with it was a huge surprise to me and just a delight to hear. And I would say the, the power of a brand in the state of Delaware. The Stone Balloon was known the day it hit the front page of the News Journal. It was an unbelievable response. That's a wrap, everybody. Thank you for watching. And remember, for more information on Best of Delaware Week and all of the Best of Delaware winners and their deals, head to bestofde.com.